Hello guys, this is Sami from jvsco.net. You're welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at a simple example of file upload with Spring Boot, the MySQL database and data, Spring Data JPA. We are going to actually create a simple application where a user can upload documents of any type, like PDF, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, images like photos, like, I mean, different type of images can be uploaded. And we are going to be using IntelliJ for this tutorial. So let's get started. So quickly, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to use um, the Spring Initializer because this is a Spring Boot application. So I'm going to leave all these defaults as they are and I'm going to click on next. So here I'm going to give the group ID of this project, which is com.jvscode, com com.jvscode. Then the artifact ID is going to be um, file, file upload file upload I'm going to make it um, spring boot file upload so I'm going to do this the name as spring boot file upload so I'm going to have SB SB file upload your spring boot file upload and I'm going to leave all these default as they are and the description we can leave it like this and maybe we can just put something simple like a spring spring boot file file upload demo spring boot file upload demo and uh, i'm going to leave the package name as it is I'm going to leave the package name as it is here. So now we create, we click on next and I'm going to pick. So now we're going to pick a couple of dependencies here, the dependencies we want to make use in our application. So here we have web. So I'm going to um, choose spring web to enable us to build web application with spring. I'm going to choose this spring web. And I'm going to go to my SQL, I mean, I'm sorry, the SQL. And I'm going to choose um, Spring Data JPA and I'm going to choose my SQL driver. We're going to use, we're going to be using MySQL. So MySQL and uh, Spring um, Data JPA. And um, the last one I'm going to pick right now is this. I'm going to pick Lombok to help us get rid of some boiler code in our project. Um, in case you are not familiar with Lombok, you are going to see the reason why we are, we, are, we are picking this later. Because we don't want to be generating getters and setters manually each time we need, we need them. So that is why I'm choosing this to help us get rid of gener generating too, too much of code in our project. So right now I'm going to click on next. I I believe this is what these are the dependencies we need for now. But as time goes on, if we need any other dependency, we can always add them. So quickly I'm going to click on next. I click next. And our project now we're going to review. Let's review what the information we have supplied here so these are the information we provided for our project and now i'm going to click on finish finish so um this is going to take a little while okay our project has finished creating and uh, i'm going to close this maven window so let's take a look at our POM file. Let's take a look of our dependencies. So here, the name of the project, 
this is the name of the project all the information we entered last time when we were using when we created the project and the version of java we're using is 11 but yeah we, so we can use eight yeah, from eight above eight above so here this uh data jpa and uh my square connector the lombok so these are this this is it this is just pretty what we need for now so we're going to close this file and let's go into our main directory here we are going to create a new here we're going to create a new package let's create a new package here and i'm going to call this package model this model and in here i'm going to right click this and create a new java class and this class straightforward is going to be file upload file upload file upload so this one is going to be file upload and i'm going to click on ok hit enter and here what do we need So we need the file ID, we're going to do private long ID, so this is the ID, and we need the name of the file, private string, string name, name of the file, and we need the type of the file, private string type, the type of the file, the file type, and we need we need to get we need to track the owner of the file who uploaded the file who is the owner of this document so we're going to do um private private string string owned owned by yeah so we're going to have owned by the name the, the owner of the document so we're going to get a description of this document so we're going to do private um, string description a little description of this uh, project uh, sorry the description of this um, document we're loading then so having done this we are going to we are going to get the actual document the actual bytes of the file so we're going to do private private bytes byte array right so private byte so we're going to have file that's the file the real file and we are going to do private directory private string private string upload upload directory upload directory so this so here we are going to annotate this as a large object so here we are going to we are going to do something here at column column name we'll have five upload this upload this upload directory this upload directory and we are going to yeah this upload directory here so this uh these are pretty what we we want the information we we need here right now so here we are going to we are going to have we are going to tell hibernate that this class is a table in our database so how do we do that so we are going to set this entity annotation to tell hibernate that this table should be created in the database as as a table that this class should be created as a table in the database and i'm going to set a name for this table even though this one is not necessary but i always you know like setting name name of the table the reason behind this being that if i set a name for this like for example i set a name right there like i'm doing file upload yeah file well, let me sorry so here we will have file upload name of this table is going to be file upload in database but remember if we don't set the name of this table 
we are by default we are going to have a table like this in our database with camel casing which means like the, the lowercase f and like that and we are going to implement serializable we're going to implement serializable here all right okay so now we are going to tell we are going to tell hibernate that this the id of this document is our primary key so let's have an id and how do we get the value for this id so we are going to do at generated value we could have left it like this but um, we can just leave it like this but i want us to be specific to be explicit so i just want to declare the strategy here it was generated generated type dot id i'm going to use id for this so i um, think that is pretty everything we need right now that's everything we need the id the name the type of the file the owner of the file the description the main file and uh, the upload directory so last time we added a dependency called lombok so that is what we're going to use here right now i'm not going to generate getter and setter manually but i'm going to use lombok to get this for us so i'm going to use app data for lombok to do this for us and also so this is pretty all we need this is pretty all we need right now so we are finished creating our we finished creating our entity class our model so in our next video we are going to continue working on our project by creating the service classes the service layer the controller and the data access layer so that is pretty all for this video i don't want it to be too long so we're going to stop this video here and continue in in our, in our next video so guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that. Please help us grow this channel. Thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video.